Hello friends, welcome to Online Physics. In this video, we are going to discuss two questions from GATE 2019 of Quantum Mechanics. So, shuru karne se pahle, I want to tell you that please follow us on different platforms. So, agar abhi tak aapne hamara channel subscribe nahi kiya, to do subscribe Online Physics on YouTube and also follow me on Unacademy where I have started the course on Quantum Mechanics, Atomic Physics and solution of previous exams. You can also follow our page on Facebook Online Physics and follow Online Physics on Instagram and now you can also follow us on our website www.onlinephysics.triplo Here you will get all the updates about the exams, solutions of previous exams and answer keys. और इन सभी के लिंक आपको डिस्क्रिप्शन में मिल जाएंगे नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट एंड नाउ इन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वी हैव गिवन फाइव व्हिच इज इक्वल टू सी वन इन टू प्रोडक्ट ऑफ कैटब्रा वेक्टर ऑफ फाइव वन प्लस सी टू एंड प्रोडक्ट ऑफ कैटब्रा वेक्टर ऑफ फाइव टू वे आर कैट ऑफ फाइव वन इक्वल टू वन जीरो एंड कैट ऑफ फाइव टू इक्वल टू जीरो वन and here we have given the constant c1 which is equal to 0.4 and c2 which is equal to 0.6 and here we have to find the phi 2 to element now let's see how to solve this problem now in the form of matrix phi can be written as phi 1 1 phi 1 2 phi 2 1 and phi 2 2 and here given phi is equal to c1 into product of cat bar vector of phi 1 plus c2 product of cat bar vector of phi 2 now here we have given the value of c1 and c2 and we just have to find out the value of product of cat bra vector of phi1 and product of cat bra vector of phi2 so here first one is the product of cat bra vector of phi1 which is equal to cat of phi1 is equal to 1 0 now here bra of phi1 is equal to just change the column element into row element and the product of these two is equal to matrix 1 0 0 0 and now the next is product of cat bra vector of phi 2 similarly here we have 0 1 and 0 1 and that is equal to matrix 0 0 and 0 1 now just put all these values in given phi and here phi will become 0 0.4 into matrix 1 0 0 0 plus 0 0.6 into matrix 0 0 0 1 now by multiplying constants the matrix will become 0 0.4000 0, 0 plus 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.6. Now by adding these two matrix we will get 0 0.40 and 0, 0, 0.6. Now by comparing matrix elements with phi we will get the value of phi 2 2 which is 0 0.6. So here 0 0.6 will be the right answer for this question. Now let's come to the next question. And here we have given the Hamiltonian in form of matrix which is equal to E1, 0, 0, E2. And wave function psi at t equal to 0 is 1 upon under root 2, 1, 1. And here we have to find the square of product of psi at t equal to 0 and psi at t. Now let's see how to solve this problem. So here we have given psi at t equal to 0 which is equal to 1 upon under 2 1 1 and this can be written as 1 upon under 2 1 0 plus 1 upon under 2 0 1 so this is psi at t equal to 0 now psi at t will be written as exponential minus iota ht upon h cut into psi at 0 now here just put the value of psi at t equal to 0 and psi at t will become 1 upon under 2 exponential minus iota e1 t upon h cut 1 0 plus 1 upon under 2 exponential minus iota e2 t upon h cut 0 1. Here we just put the element of Hamiltonian which is given e1 and e2. Now we have both values psi at 0 and psi at t. Now just take the product and after that we will take the square. Now the product of psi at 0 and psi at t will equal to 1 upon under 2 1 0 plus 1 upon under 2 0 1. Now here the column element will change into row element because here we have the bra of psi at 0. Now psi at t is equal to 1 upon under 2 exponential minus iota e1 t upon h cut 1 0 plus 1 upon under 2 exponential minus iota e2 t upon h cut 0 1. Now just take the product of these two. 
which you can see in the next line. Now here second and third term will become zero when you take the product of the matrix elements. And here we have left with 1 upon 2 exponential minus iota e1 t upon h cut plus 1 upon 2 exponential minus iota e2 t upon h cut. Now we have the value of product of psi at 0 and psi at t. Now just take the square of this and square of this is equal to the product of real and complex conjugate of this product. Now by putting the value we will get 1 upon 4 into exponential minus iota e1 t upon h cut plus exponential minus iota e2 t upon h cut into exponential iota e1 t upon h cut plus exponential iota e2 t upon h cut. Now by taking the product of these two brackets we will get 1 upon 4 into 1 plus exponential iota e2 minus e1 t upon h cut plus exponential minus iota e2 minus e1 t upon h cut plus 1. And now this can be written as 1 upon 4 into 2 plus and now just multiply and divide by 2 with the another terms. By taking 2 common we will get 1 upon 2 1 plus and the exponential term will become cos e2 minus e1 t upon h cut. So this will be the right answer. So now thanks for watching this video, subscribe for learning and share for helping. Please share this video to all your friends so they will also get benefit from this. And the last thing is please don't forget to like this video. Thank you.